Okay, I thought I'd do just a little video kind of showing you what I love about the Digitech Obscura. And uh, I got the, this Soulbender fuzz that I'm gonna use. This is kind of the analog section of the board, the drives, flanger, proton, compressor. Comes over here, I run stereo out of this, into that, into that. And uh, the one thing about the Obscura is it doesn't do anything in stereo. It keeps the stereo from this true, but it does not, you know, add any modulation in stereo. I found that actually it doesn't bother me. I love the sound that I get. I kind of go for this psychedelic kind of faster tape sound where it's got a lot of repeats and like two o'clock or so, maybe a uh, degrade, kind of got the tone up two or clock or so. Um, so yeah, let me show you that sound, okay? Okay, so if we, uh, if we just have a clean sound. Pretty plain, right? Put on the Obscura. Give it just a little more level. So you can hear that it's kind of, it's cool. It's just got kind of this psychedelic thing. I like it like that because you get kind of this, uh, you know, warbly effect out of it. A wow and flutter. Okay, so now if you uh, if you put on the fuzz and say, you know. Right? It's kind of, you know, a different use than most people use for it, but if I take it into tap tempo, just have some beats for that kind of Pink Floyd solo, take the repeats down a little bit. So you can kind of see how that's a useful sound. Um, what I love is keeping the tape bright, you know. I like that. If you compare that to say uh, the analog,
That's at about two o'clock on the tone. Pretty warm. I love that sound too. It's got its uses for sure. But I just kind of end up parked in the tape delay, get that super spaced out kind of trippy sound and uh, use it, you know, as an explosion sound or something in the middle of a song. You're driving. You know, it's just kind of cool like that. Uh, sometimes what I do is I mix that sound with this one I created on the Big Sky, which is probably for another day, but anyway. Uh, it, I call it the Benson Echo Rack. I made it with the Magneto machine. You can hear it's got that. So then I put the tape delay into that. It's almost like some kind of weird, trippy, rhythmic verb. 